Signs and symptoms that first appeared earlier in life often continue to progress into adolescence, while others may emerge for the first time. Mild hearing loss may begin early in the course of the disease, but moderate to severe hearing loss may develop in patients who survive into adulthood. In the severe form of Hunter syndrome, death usually occurs in the teen years, commonly due to respiratory disease, neurologic problems, or heart conditions. Patients with the less severe or attenuated form of Hunter syndrome typically survive into adulthood. In summary, Hunter syndrome is a multi-system disorder. The progressive symptoms profoundly affect patient quality of life, from skeletal problems that limit walking and joint flexibility, to respiratory conditions that affect normal breathing, to physical changes that affect appearance and growth rates.